Yes, good evening one and all. Welcome to Tribalty Academy DCD class. So last class we already discussed about algorithm. So today I am going to start flow chart. So based on that flow chart, so you people will get a one mark. So last class we discussed based on that algorithm. So in the last class we discussed so based on that you will get one mark. So what is the flow chart we have? So based on that flow chart, 100% you will get one mark. A flow chart all yena pa nimge concept barakte ante aladra. So we have a definition based on that you will get one marks. So adhana bitre. So in yaudra lapa nimge one mark barakte ante aladra. So we have a symbols. So symbols is there. So based on that symbols, so you will get a one mark. Egle aladra thene. See how can I define a flow chart? In a simple word, we can say so. You know, the flow chart is a graphical representations of algorithm so last class we already discussed about you know definitions of algorithm and we already seen about a you know different types of algorithm also right so here what is it flow chart ante helta idini how can i define a flow chart ante helidre so flow chart is a graphical representations of algorithm nan yen algorithm na barididtini what i have written the algorithm so i am going to represent in the form of a picture are in the form of a graphics. So this is the first definitions of an algorithm. So already, sorry, flow chart. I have given a two definition. So only henge questions baratein theli decide mana kagala. So that is the reason. Yer definition na kije ne. So yer definition na noor koli yer dro mello questions barate. So first definition na theli the flow chart is a graphical representations of algorithm ante theli jene. So, what is the second definition on there? This flow chart, it consists of a sequence of instructions on there. So, how can I define a flow chart in second definition on there? The flow chart means it consists of a sequence of instructions. These instructions carried out an algorithm. So, this is the second definition we have. Note it. First definition on there. Flow chart is a graphical representation of algorithm on there. So when I come to second definition on there, how can I define a flow chart on there? A flow chart is a sequence of instruction. This instructions carried out an algorithm. So in a part of that on there, what is the instructions I have given? That instructions you know carried out a algorithm. See, this is the you know two definitions we have for the flow chart. Next one day. So this is important. So what is the topic we have? Different types of flow chart. So this is also very important. So you know, so what are the different types of flow chart? And there, right? What is the flow chart we have? So this flow chart again classified into you know different types. And there, right? So how many types we have? And there, right? we have a four types. One is a document flow chart. The next one is data flow chart. The next one is system flow chart. The last one, which is what is a program flow chart. So these are all the different types of flow charts we are going to use. See, so what I said. What is the flow chart we have? This flow chart again classified into four types. And there is the first type of the pantheon, which is called as a document flow chart. The second one, which is called as a data flow chart. The next one, which is called as a system flow chart. The last one, which is called as a program flow chart. See, these are all the you know different types of flow charts we have. So first, let's be discussed about. So what are the you know different types of pantheon? So first, I am going to discuss document flow chart. See here. How can I define a, a document flow chart? In a simple word, we can say what is the document flow charts we have? It always showing a you know, control over a document flow. So what is the you know, document flow chart we have? This document flow chart, it always showing a control over a document flow through a system. See, this is the definition of a Document flow chart. Hello, day. The avagle ena pa torso ten ter ladre. It always showing a control over a document flow. En torso the it always showing a control over a document flow through a system. So this is called as a document flow ten ter ladre. So next we have a data flow chart. So now day the next which is called as a data flow chart. So what the data flow chart will show ten ter ladre. This data flow chart it always showing a control over a data flow within a system so this is called as a data flow chart simple node what i said 
what is the flow chart we have this flow chart again classified into four types and there in that the first one which is called as a document flow chart what is the document flow chart and there this document flow chart it always showing a control over a not a you know through a system and there is next what is the data flow chart and there is a control that is showing a document flow and there is when i come to a data flow and there is always showing a control over a data flow and there is a it always showing a control over a data flow within a system next now we have a system flow chart so what it will show and there what is the system flow chart we have it always you know control at a physical or resource level so idellappa control agutte ant helidre what is the system flow chart we have this system flow chart it always showing a control elli at a physical or resource level see here what is the program sorry what is that system flow charts we have this system flow chart enappa torusutte ant helidre it always showing a control at a physical or resource level see this is called as a system flow chart next what is the system flow charts we have this system flow charts which is used by the system analyst so idan yarappa use maartare ante helidra what is the system flow charts we have this system flow charts which is used by the system analyst why the system analyst is going to use ante helidra because by using this you know system flow chart who is the system analyst we have this system analyst is going to showing a you know various process then subsystem then we have a output and operations on the data in a system so a simple concept what is the system flow chart we have ante helidre this system flow chart it always showing a control at a physical or resource level ante helidre next what is the system flow charts we have this system flow charts which is used by the system analyst why the system analyst is going to use ante helidre because who is a system analyst that system analyst it showing a various process sub system output and operations on a data in a system this is the reason the system analyst is going to using a you know system flow chart next today we have a the last flow chart which is called as a program flow chart ante helta idini so next ena pa ante helidre which is called as a program flow chart esralle ad en anta program flow chart ante helidini we have a program so in that we have a flow chart what is the purpose of a program flow chart ante helidre this program flow chart it always showing a program logic structures and also also it is showing a logical flow and operations and also control in a program within a system ante helta idini so nodi how can i define a program flow chart ante helidre what is the program flow charts we have this program flow chart it always showing a program structure en torusutte it always showing a program structures logical flow and operations and also a control in a program within a system this is called you know program flow chart ante helidini so who is going to using a program flow chart ante helidre this program flow chart which is used by the programmers because srl id enanta in name only is there so that is called as a program flow chart and what is the program flow chart we have this program flow charts which is used by the programmers aitha so idhen torusutte what it will show ante helidre what is the program flow charts we have this program flow charts is always showing a program structures logical flow and operations and also controls in a program within a system it is called you know program flow chart ante helidini so what is the program flow charts we have this program flow charts you know which is used by the programmers ante helta idini what is the program flow charts we have this program flow charts which is used by the programmers and pidkole understood see these are all the different types of flow charts we are going to use then pidkole these are all the different types of flow charts we are going to use so what is the flow charts we have these flow charts again classified into four types so next we have a concept what is the rule to draw a flow chart i want to write a flow chart or i want to draw a flow chart en ante helda definition no it is a graphical representations of algorithm ante helidini yavdu flow chart so what is the algorithm i have written it should be show in the form of a picture or it should be show in the form of a graphics so that is the reason 
See what is the rule we have to draw the flow chart or what is the rules we have to follow when drawing a flow chart. See here, the first rule I want to write a flow chart only standard symbol should be used to draw a program flow charts. I want to write a flow chart and the first point and up and the other what is the first rule and the other so not it only standard symbols should be used in use model I want to use only a standard symbol standard symbols matra use model because I want to write a flow chart for the algorithm and the other so many other the symbol use model it is not possible to use different types of symbols what is the standard symbols we have according to that only we have to use the you know symbols to write a flow chart next note what is the program logic we have this program logic it always should be depict from the elinda top to bottom and left to to right i want to write a flow chart ante helidre yavaglu henga pa irbeku ante helidre what is the program logic we have henga irbeku from top to bottom and left to to right so this is the second rule we have nen pidkole what is the first rule ante helidre we have to write a standard symbols what is the second rule ante helidre so i want to show the program logic ante helidre it always from the top to bottom and left to to right this is the second rule now we have a third rule so enappa ante helidre i want to write a flow chart ante helidre so you know the each symbol used in a program flow chart it should contains only a one entry point and one exit point then bit kole this is the third rule we have see here i want to write a flow chart ante helidre enappa irbeku ante helidre there is only a one entry point and one exit point artha aagtidya i want to write a flow chart ante helidre en irbeku one entry point irbeku one exit point irbeku artha aagtidya so in on the low entry in on the low exit hangir bardu there is only a one entry and only a one exit this is the third rule we have next what is the fourth rule ante helidre what is the decision no de all the decision branches should be well labeled what is the decision branches we have all the decision branches en agirbeku ante helidre it should be well labeled so en agirbeku well label agirbeku so these are all the you know rules we have to follow when writing a flow chart see here first rule en agirbeku ante helidre we have to use only a standard symbols standard symbols matra use madbeku second rule en appa ante helidre what is the program logic we have program logic elinda start agbeku ante helidre from the top to bottom and left to right what is the third rule ante helidre so let it there is only a one entry point and one exit point what is the fourth rule ante helidre all the decision branches should be well labeled now when and decision branches kottirtini so adella enap agirbeku ante helidre it should be well labeled see these are all the rules we have to follow when writing a you know flow chart class to be continued download ttt live learn app to watch more videos